Welcome back guys, I appreciate you being here. Today we're going over the Black Hawk Omnivore Holster. Does it live up to what it claims? Let's find out. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Let's get right into it. So the Black Hawk Omnivore Multi-Fit Holster. The reason why I picked this up it was because I wanted a single holster that I can use multiple guns with and not have to spend hundreds of dollars on buying a dedicated holster for each gun. With that being said, it has served its purpose very, very well. Now I have the Surefire X300 version. So as long as I have an X300 attached to the rail, it works just great. There's good retention, it doesn't come out, uh, and it works just fine. Now, I do want to point out that it needs to be the Surefire A version. This is the Surefire X300 UA. It will not work with the B version. On my Springfield Echelon, I have a 300 Turbo B, and this one will not fit. And the reason is because the tightening screw on the light here doesn't fit in the holster. There isn't enough space for it to fit. So that's why it won't work. But as long as you have an X300A version, you're good to go. Now, it does also come with a belt mount and a paddle mount, which I do not use because I modded a Safari Land QLS fork on it so that I can use this on my range belt, interchange with different holsters. Uh, now this is a mod. There are other uh, videos on YouTube that you can search that show you how to mod this on here. So I'm not gonna get into that, but if you do it right, it does work very well. It's very sturdy, have had no issues with that whatsoever. Now there's also a thumb activated retention, which I removed because it did not work properly. I had a lot of issues with it. So the way it retains is there's this little tab here that would retain on the back of the light. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. Sometimes I could just rip the gun out of the holster without pressing the button. Uh, sometimes I would press the button and the gun would get stuck. So it was very inconsistent, which is why I removed it. It's very simple to remove. All you need to do is remove this back plate that's here, remove this piece, replace the back plate, and you're good to go. Okay, so it claims that it fits over 150 different models of pistols. I unfortunately don't have over 150 models of pistols, but out of the ones that I do have, they all fit. There are some exceptions though. So you see here, this is my P80 Glock 17, which fit perfectly. I've got my Glock, stock Glock Gen 5, Glock 19 here. Put that in there. That fits just fine, no issues, doesn't come out. And this is a compact. So if we remove that and put it on my Gerson Regard, which is essentially a Beretta 92 replica. This is a full size. It fits, it retains. The only issue is that, as you can see, the trigger is exposed. So I can actually stick my finger in there and press the trigger. So that's uh, something that you might want to look out for. Uh, it doesn't happen with every gun, but it happens with this one for sure. So uh, another thing that I like about this holster is that since it retains on the light, it doesn't wear the frame on the gun, which is great, especially for someone like me that dry fires a lot it doesn't wear the frame, the finish on the frame. There is a bit of wear on the light here, if you can see, especially on the S, where the uh, retention, the plastic of the holster rides up against the side of the light there. But I would much rather have wear on the light than on the frame of the gun. So that's, that's also nice there. 
um, I mean, other than that, guys, it's a great holster. Um, definitely would recommend it uh, for something like range use, perhaps using it to find, to figure out if you do want to buy a dedicated holster for a particular gun. But I would not recommend this for serious use. Um, there are some little faults here and there, like, for example, having the trigger guard, guard exposed on this Gerson. So that's not something that you want to be running around with so but other than that it's been it's definitely served its purpose very very well so that's it for this video guys thank you for tuning in please like and subscribe if you have any comments or any questions leave them down below and i will get back to you until the next one god bless and stay safe